the, the junior senator from Georgia is recognized. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, I rise to make two succinct statements and ask unanimous consent that they be appear separately in the record. Without objection, so ordered. Mr. President, the Senate this week and the whole world, or at least the United States of America, and I wish the whole world, were remembering back to what happened on 9-11-2001 in the United States of America. Yesterday, most appropriately in this capital, just outside of the rotunda, the Senate and the House jointly dedicated an outstanding memorial to those that were the passengers on Flight United 93. 33 passengers who risked and lost their lives, but turned what was the worst day in American history in terms of a defeat into the first victory of the war with terror. On that plane were many Americans who at the last minute had changed their flights, weren't originally scheduled to take that plane, but changed it because of various reasons. Maybe it was fate, don't know what it was, but one of the individuals on that flight was Georgine Corrigan, Georgine Corrigan uh, lived in Honolulu. Georgine Corrigan was a really world-renowned antiques dealer. Georgine Corrigan was the sister of Robert Marisay. Robert Marisay lives in Woodstock, Georgia. And yesterday, for the first time in my life, I had the occasion to meet him as he traveled to Washington to see the unveiling of that remarkable marker now hanging in the United States Capitol. And in the few moments I had to share with him, he shared with me his love for his sister, but his profound pride in what those people on that plane had done that day. Because many of us who are here today in this Capitol may not in fact have been here in this Capitol had they not been able to take that plane down and take it away from the terrorist who had hijacked it. So as we remember the tragedy of 9-11, as we recommit ourselves as Americans to never, ever have an incident like that happen again, it is important that we remember each and every individual who lost their life in the tragedies of 9-11, whether it was in New York City, whether it was the Pentagon, or whether it was in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. It was a tragic day in our country, a day that opened with great hope of blue skies and a warm autumn, a crisp autumn breeze, and ended in the most tragic day in American history. I am proud of the House and Senate for the honor they bestowed upon those on Flight United Flight 93 yesterday, and I encourage all of us in this body to never, ever forget the tragedy of that day and to renew our commitment to see to it that it never happens again.